Titleist. Welcome back to the 2017 Titleist booth at the PGA Show. Um, we've appreciated all of your questions so far on Team Titleist. You guys are doing a great job, so thanks for submitting those. I am honored to introduce Master Predator Craftsman, Scotty Cameron. Thank you for joining us. Thanks for having me on your show. Of course. <laughs> um, so we are going to take all of your questions. We'll start with a few, and let's get started. So the new line of Futura putters and select Newport 3 look fantastic. Thank you. Our, um, our crew has really loved the Futura video because it, we feel that it really shows your art or chicken scratch, as you may call it, to you know creativity, merging with R and D, and bringing it all together. Would you mind just explaining that process a little bit? Sure. Did you see my truck? Uh, yes, the in the video. Ford? Yes. Saw the Chevy. Yes. That's actually in my tour department. That's awesome. So half of it's cars, and the other half is putter making stuff. So yeah, I have a, I have thoughts, and I'll chicken scratch it down. I'm no artist. I just have ideas and need to get them down before I forget them. So I chicken scratch them down, think about what I want to use and the materials I want to use and what makes sense. So I get it laid out on paper. Then I think of okay, what do I need to mill? So I'll hack on the mill on aluminum and on stainless, and then have weight ports where I want to screw in the weights. Then the offset, then the neck, then the shaft I want to use, and get a concept bring it to life, make it, hack it. It's not very pretty, but it's more for testing. And once I'm in the right direction, I pull in the engineers, get it on screen, and then we go from there. So if all goes well within a year, chicken scratch, prototype, mm -hmm. tour, production tooling, finishes, shaft bends, grips, in a year's time, we can have it to market. Amazing. This is a piece of art. Um, so we do have a team titleist question. This one is from Ryan Y. Are there any tour stories, such as working with Adam Scott on the future at 6M, that you can share with us? Sure. Well, Adam's been coming into my studio since he was nine. He came in with Greg Norman on his jet. I think of that life for Adam Scott. <laughs> but he's been coming since a kid and seeing what we do and how we test and to understand the art of putting. And he had a big say in the weight distribution, how big was too big, how soft was too soft. He had a say in the matter. So what we made for him, we've had a lot of requests, so we've actually made this for this show, but we've been testing this for over a year with Adam, so it was a big part of helping us bring this to life. Amazing, it's fantastic. And Mark V asks, when a putter has a new and improved feel, how is that determined? Sure, well, Titles has a new golf ball. We think about that and with the two materials, the aluminum and stainless, we're able a vibration dampening membrane in between the two that we sandwich. For example, this one here, yeah. stainless, aluminum. So before we put it together, there's a vibration dampening system on the inside. We can tune the sound because sound has more to do with feel than feel itself. So then we take a tour, what do you think of the feel? Off of different golf balls. Feel, performance, looks, get it all finished, and it's here to show Package you. Up. <laughs> yeah. Beautiful. Um, one last question from me. You know, we all get fit for clubs, mm -hmm. uh, such as a driver or irons. What is it like, or what is the importance of getting fit for a putter? Sure. Uh, do you have to get fit for a driver? You don't. If you don't need to get fit for a putter. Don't. The fact is, if you want to get better, if you want the right equipment, you can see it, understand it, and do it. So to get fit, it's a great thing. I call it the art of putting. The player affects the putter, the putter affects the golf ball. Go backwards. Ball's affected by the putter, putter's affected by the player. Let's get them to work together. So if you're trying to go square to square or have an arch in your stroke, pick a putter that works for you. But you can come into our studio and understand what should I be using? How should it roll? Do I need loft? Is my weight distribution off? What does a weight distribution have to do with putter? Well, when you lean, the shaft leans. Affects the lot, affects the ball. Come in and get simply fit. <laughs> It'll be the best two hours you've ever spent in your lifetime on putting. We've learned from the best in the world. We've done it with them. Now you have the chance to do it at the gallery. Overall, it sounds so simple, but then there are a lot of moving parts to make it come together. You know, we've invested in the cameras and the computers and the lights and the flooring and the weight distribution. You can see exactly how you lean and how you move. 
we've invested in this for the best players. I thought it was wise to bring it to the average golfer. It can only help. Best two hours of your life in putting at the gallery. Well, with that, I think we're all set. Thank you, Scotty, for joining us. Thank you very much. Of course. Thank Thanks, you guys. Team Titleist.